Hello, 11th graders. So today we are going to put in practice what we have learned yesterday. So remember what are those things? Countable and uncountable things. In that sense, we can talk about that those are the things that we can count, maybe in this way, or that we cannot count. So for example, if I say how much, it is going to use for money or for things that I can count, so simple. Or if I say how many, is for things that we are going to count and it is easy for count, maybe with the fingers hands. So, in that sense, I can say an example. If I say how much, I can say mm, how much am I going to be in here? In that sense, in Spanish, I can say ¿Cuánto tiempo voy a estar acá? Remember that a key word is that how much it is used for uncountable things, for money, or for time. Remember that, keep in mind. Or if I say how many is for counting, something that I can count, of course. So for example, if I say how many people work in your company, I am saying in Spanish, ¿Cuántas personas trabajan en tu compañía? If I say something like that, it's because I can't count the people that it is here. So remember that there, that there are some, thing, so, some simple things that you can add in your photocopy. So please guys, there is a photocopy in which you are going to work about the countable and uncountable things. Those things that you can count and those things that you can't count. So guys, that is the whole video for today. So I hope that you try to enjoy this new methodology. I love you so much, I miss you, but take into account that I'm here for you, okay? Bye guys, love you so much.